Hi, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. Today we're going to manually install a chime spring into a barrel. The spring has already been cleaned with kerosene and a scouring pad and will now be lubricated with grease. The most efficient way to get the grease onto the spring is by using a toothpick. Dip the toothpick into the grease to load it and then wipe it round inside the coils of the spring. You only need to coat one side of the spring because once the spring is wound up and compressed the grease will equally flow to both sides of the spring. Continue in this manner until you are satisfied that there is sufficient grease on each of the coils of the spring. Okay. Now put the spring barrel into a vise but don't clamp it too tightly because you don't want to push it out of round. Put on a heavy pair of gloves and start to install the spring into the barrel. Align the whole end of the spring with the hook in the barrel and press the spring firmly down into the barrel, keeping a tight hold on it all the time because it will let go very easily. Continue working around the barrel with the spring making sure you keep a tight hold on the spring at all times. The chiming train spring in a clock is always the strongest because it has heaps of work to do. We are manually inserting this spring into the barrel because the winding arbor has no key square on it. It's easy to see how much harder this is than using a spring winder, which is the normal way to install a spring into a barrel. We're about halfway through now, or a little bit over. This has been shot in real time, so you can see how long it actually takes to do. It's all done. The spring is now back into the barrel. We now have to put the cap onto the reverse side of the barrel. To do that, We'll be using a bench vise. Place the cap in the correct orientation on the back of the barrel. Put the cap and barrel into the vise and tighten the vise against the lower section of the barrel. Then undo the vise Remove the barrel and turn it 45 degrees in either direction and tighten the vise down once again. As you rotate the barrel and tighten the vise, the cap will be forced into the groove in the barrel. 
continue working your way around the barrel until you hear the pop when the cap finally fits into the groove on the barrel. <laughs> 